Sobrang hindi natanggalin tong bedroom na to. Ang ganda. Ang ganda. Parang gusto ko talaga yung mag-isa pang baby. <laughs> Okay, so we are in Joy Springs' house in her actually in her master's bedroom, and we decided to transform into a shared space where you have a nursery in a corner with the masters. So here there was a storage space before, which open shelves. We transformed it into a nursing corner with our Madison glider, a Lorena Canals basket, and a Monsara leaf rug in honey. All the furniture here is theirs, but what we did was we essentially did the quick fix which is change the bedding and we added dried flowers the vases and books in again a brown honey tone so what we really wanted to do is show a shared space that a master's and a nursery corner can coexist in a not so big space and you can do something fantastic with just a corner of course this is not a practical nursery this is an editorial nursery so essentially beautiful curtains that allow light to come in a rug and a beautiful Jenny Lynn classic crib in yellow which is like the color of the year today um, we had a problem no gloomy siya today the sun is not cooperating and as you know in um, photography important ang light so what do we do in situations like this na there's little or uh, lack of quality of light so we brought our own light so here we have made handy dandy flash from Godox. Ito ba flash mo? Yan? Ito. Ayun ang sikreto ng mga guwapo. <laughs> we want to mimic the ray of uh, the sun. So we put the uh, orange filter and then para ma-diffuse na siya konti more with some plant element. And then we're shooting it through the room. Kasi without, look ah, ganyan siya talaga. Ayan. So plain and dull. Mm -hmm. But with the light, ayan, di ba? Para nagkaroon siya ng character. Mm -hmm. So inahabol natin. Character, because you shoot today is very with character. Pero without it, okay din naman. Without it, it's okay. You know, you can get uh, just make the subject face towards the light, okay naman. Pero lang if you wanted to level it up lang ng konte, na para uh interesting siya tignan or like umaraw sa so walang araw. So check out the result of our shoot in a while, and then there's another set that we'll show you downstairs. with my period. That was, we kept taking the test after that joke time test, the first one that we took in the coffee shop. It's like it faded, so parang kami baka hindi, baka hindi. And then finally, for our wedding anniversary trip, he had una hit it, and then I took a PT while he was away, and got the solid two positives there. The sakto, I was fixing like an anniversary dinner date nung gabi yun. So I surprised him. During dinner, and he cried so much. Upstairs, we are already in our second set. Parang hindi mo na feel na it's a, it's a set 
but Tipping Point did a really great job na to incorporate um, the set as part of their lifestyle. So we're doing like an 80s feel for this set and meron tayong photo booth, makeshift photo booth, but um, we wanted to make it like it's incorporated in their lounge. Sobrang nice and how Tipping Point has done the styling for this set. Hi, I'm Anne and this is Ate Janice. Hello. So we started making the booth first, this area. So, ang gumawa nito sila Kuya Dons. Ito na yung sunod. Inunang ilagay yung mga big props. Kinuha din namin to sa room nila Miss Joyce. Yung gamit nila sa bahay, ginamit rin namin as set piece. Like this one, their bookshelf. Hindi na namin siya tinanggal. Then this area, pinunulang namin siya ng cassette tapes. Yung mga plants nila sobrang helpful sa set. Hindi na kami nag-add ng fake plants. So, if they want naman to contact you, on Instagram, Tipping Point Collective or TPC Design. And you can email us at tippingpointcollective at gmail.com. Look for Miss Hias or Miss Mithi Lakaba. Pagod ba? Hindi pagod na pagod eh. Parang pagod na masaya. I think it's super, we're, we're just super excited. Ano yung mga things that you are preparing? Siyempre separately. On a practical note, si Joyce will be lessening her work. So, pinaprepare na namin yung other sources of income, uh, where to uh, also be proactive with our time. Uh, kaya may mga, mga small businesses around, kami around uh, that uh, that help us help our our, our finances. Islog na natin ang tempura. Yung <laughs> toka <laughs> tempura. <laughs> ang sarap niya guys. Pero, Pero, ang dami kong nakain. Yeah. Ten out of ten. Recommend. Uh, dito lang sa Santa Rosa kayo dito. Pero ang pinaka-importante na kailangan namin i-prepare is yung spiritual walk namin. I'm sure maraming magiging uh, challenges ahead of us kapag parents na kami. So we like just like we what we talked last, uh, about last Literally night. Literally last night. Just na. about last night. Yung, yung mga daily devotionals namin, parang we think that isn't enough. Lalo na kung kung magiging parents sa kami at may, may baby na. Siyempre yung we have to work as a unit and uh, really be intentional with our time in preparing our spiritual muscle. Parang yung talaga pinaprepare namin yung pinag-usapin namin kagabi, o oh, dapat yung day group natin kasi may community na kami. Tapos yung date night namin, dapat scheduled talaga. But then, I also want for one show kasi I was telling him na medyo na full frustrate ako because I still see him going out. I mean, we're, hindi naman unnecessary like working out, ganyan. So parang sabi ko, pwede natin gawin, schedule natin yan. Parang, hello, twice a week ka magbabasketball or magbo-workout with your friends. Which is good naman because I don't want him also to lose his identity as one show. Parang, I don't want to tell him na kasi stuck ako at home. He has to be stuck at home also. So, since nag-usap na rin kayo last night about your family, what would be um, maybe one or three things that you want to be your family culture as a unit? Ako, first in mind is prayer life. Mm -hmm. Super important sa akin yung prayer life. Because I saw how that 
really molded our marriage. Parang when once she was courting me and he didn't know Jesus pa, pinagprepare ko talaga, Lord, ayoko na, tanggalin mo, tanggalin mo, tanggalin mo. Tapos nagkatuloy-tuloy pa rin. And then we prayed about having a D group. The next day, we met someone out of chance. Chance? Tapos taga CCF Makati siya. I kept praying and I kept praying. Tapos si Wancho na may initiative to know Jesus more than and look for a different church para hindi ko yung magkasama. So I really saw how God works when we plead to Him and we pray to Him. And we know na even we've been praying about either leaving the country or having a baby. We were supposed to <laughs> yeah, leave the country. We already had plans. We took mga IELTS na ganyan. No work namin, we had a close encounter with um, COVID. And then we, got, we had to quarantine for two weeks in Tagaytay. Wow. Mm -hmm. And during those two weeks, we really got to pray. And that was when God really revealed to me, especially, that it's time to try and start a family. So, prayer just plays such a huge part. And sobrang namove ako because before, I was always thinking about morality. Like, I have to be good. But then I remember watching a preaching before and hearing the pastor say that, don't think about just being good. Think about pursuing Jesus. And He will provide. Diba? Yun talaga yung seek first the kingdom of God and everything else He will add on to you. Righteousness, joyfulness, fruit yeah. bearing. And I've seen that with Mancho also. Siguro kami, as soon-to-be parents, kailangan namin i-beef up yung pagiging intentional again uh, sa pagiging teachers. Dahil yun niya, diba, parang dito sa, sa house, yung unang ministry naman talaga with, with them. And uh, it, it molds them to have uh, the important stuff like prayer life, attitude, and values. So, siguro yun yung magiging culture namin na dalawa na parang we have to be intentional in a way na parang every day we're trying to teach and uh, impart with, with our soon-to-be son what we want him to do with God's blessing. You're on the right track. Kaya ready na talaga sila maging <laughs> parents. Kaya gada lang kami parents agad. So lastly, I want you to practice honoring each other. Since oh. there will be a baby soon and it might occupy your time. But I know it will not. Kasi you are at the right, your heart is right with the Lord. So I want you to practice honoring each other. So who wants to go first? I can go first. Okay. Love, I want to honor you because... I know that this has been a desire of yours for a really long time for us to start a family right when we got married but I really saw how you never forced me or asked me that they we're gonna start a family that you really prayed for it and I saw you pray for it and I really saw you pray with me for it and I honor you for that for leading our family in that way um, I praise God for how compassionate you are, for how hardworking you are, and how you never take anything with ego. It's always about how can I serve and how can I love in a way that my, my wife will understand. And I want to honor you because I know it's, it is challenging. Marriage is very challenging, especially marriage to me. <laughs> I've seen how you've pursued the heart of God, which has overflowed into you pursuing my heart continuously, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that you balance out my anxieties by praying for me, by rubbing my back when I cannot see, and I honor you that even through the busiest days of working on your business, and fixing the house, you still ask me if I need anything. I honor you for being a, a very intentional husband. You're always so present. That's Wancho. He's never autopilot. He's always so present. And last night I noticed, I started opening up, or the other day, I started opening up about something that's super babo lang. Pinabanya yung phone niya. And he just like, he was just looking at me. And he's always been like that. But I just praise God because even in the smallest things, parang kahit wala ka kwenta kwenta ng work kwento yan, papakinggan niya ako niya put his phone down. And you've been consistent with that. And even better, you know, you've been so much better. Some people say na after niya magpasa, makita mo mga baho ng taong yun. Pero ikaw yung CR lang yung bumaho. <laughs> but everything else, 
blossomed and became oh. better. And I praise God for that. Um, I want to honor you uh, right now because you have been the most responsible soon-to-be mother <laughs> I've met. <laughs> have you met many? <laughs> Not much, but... Uh, Sa, sa, sa puso ko, you're the top one in this world. Thank you, baby. You've been so caring about uh, everything, even the little steps. Sometimes na, na <laughs> nakakatakot na, pero <laughs> it, it works out well because, you know, we, we, we know in our hearts that in every little step, you're, you're with the baby. Ngayon pa lang. And, and so I want to honor you and... Uh, Thank you because um, there's a reason why ikaw yung buti sa Kasi ko ako siya. Alam mo yun, parang we've been, we've been talking about it a lot. Wherein, in, in you, just to add to what you said, uh, I think it's it's us engaging each other more, you know, balancing out the, our strengths and weaknesses. And I applaud you for how you take care of me and uh, how you take care of yourself and the baby, how you intentional you've been. And I always thank God that you're, you're my wife and you're my partner and someone that I'm multiplied with. <laughs> <laughs> romantic, romantic, romantic. Thank you guys! I know you're going to be wonderful parents because your heart is really right in the Lord and you love Jesus more than yourself and your spouse. So I'm looking forward to meeting your baby and journeying your marriage. A lot of people or young couples will really learn from you and really be able, your family will be able to point them back to Jesus and that parenting should always start with Jesus first. Thank you guys! Thank you guys! We love you! Sign Super. out to be 